you know, before I pull these cylinders off, I'm going to show you guys one more thing that I've been wanting to show you guys, and a lot of people are asking me. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use a degree wheel. Um, Nate's got a really good video also on his channel, Can Power Sports One, I believe it is. Let me check. Yeah, Can Can Power Sports One. He's got a good video on there on how to use one, and I'll show you guys as well. Um, I'm using pretty much his same idea for the piston stop. Pretty good idea. Um, didn't have to be anything fancy for the degree wheel. Uh, I'm using Bike Master. Had this one for quite a while, and whenever you buy them, I don't know about the other ones. Uh, Nate carries a degree wheel. If you want one, hit him up. Um, this one had a really tiny hole in the center. I don't know what the heck it was made for, freaking 50 or something. But I had to drill the, the center out so that it would fit the crank. And I just used a, I think I used a step drill is what I used. But to fasten it onto the crank, all you need to do is get two flywheel nuts and put one on backward. Just like that. Put your wheel on. Back that, back that, one of the back all the way up. There we go. Just like that. And what I kind of do is I get it halfway close to top dead center. Uh, let me see. You can see here this this, this piston's down, so I'm just gonna roll it. There you can see it coming up there. That's somewhere close. Doesn't have to be. You can start it anywhere. But now I'm gonna show you guys how to find top dead center and how to measure your transfer ports, uh, durations, and all that good stuff. So first things first. I have it close to uh, top dead center. We need to put a pointer in there, and doesn't have to be anything fancy. I use this wire right here. This wire has been around the block, actually. I throw this crap in a big Ziploc. That way I can always find it, because I hate having to redo it every time. So, you can use a coat hanger or anything. You want it to be something you can move around, so that you can adjust it good enough for now so what we'll do is I'll go ahead and roll this to about the top dead center mark good enough and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up so grab the back nut tighten the front one get it good and snug that way you can grab the wheel and spin the engine if you want a lot of guys say not to but on a banshee motor there's there's not much drag so if you got it good and tight you can grab it to spin not worry about it moving on the crank. So now we're going to do our piston stop. Alright, so I'm just going to roll it down a little bit. And just use a piece of flat metal that I have. And this is, like I said, this is exactly what Nate did and it works great. You don't have to have anything fancy at all. All you need is something to stop the piston. Doesn't even have to be tight. That's it. So now when you roll it, you got a piston stop. You're going to change angles. All right, so now, so now we have our piston stop in. So we're gonna roll it back against the piston stop and I'm trying to look around the camera. I'm actually gonna look through the viewfinder to get an accurate number here. Let me get this camera just where I need it so that I can see. Okay, so it looks like we're at 24 degrees right there. So now we're gonna roll it the other way and we're not going to bang the piston, we're just going to turn it till it stops. So 24 degrees. And right here we are at... Uh, looks like 45. So we're going to add 24 and 45 together. 24 plus 45 equals 69. Now we're going to divide that by 2. 34 and a half is what we get. So we want to set our pointer at 34 and a half and that's going to give us our top dead center. Just work with me here just a second. 34 and a half. So we need to adjust this to get 34 and a half. That's 35 right there. That would be 34. We want it right in between there. 34 and a half. That's perfect. Now theoretically when we roll it over, we should end up at 34 and a half again. So we're going to roll it back the other way. And there we are, 34 and a half. 35 is on this side right over here. Roll it back one more time. Okay, cool, so that's that. Now I'm gonna back you guys off and I'm gonna go ahead and raise you up on here. It's gonna get rough. I'm not gonna cut the film for this so you can see that I don't skip any steps. And then all we need to do is remove the piston stop. 
that's it. Now, if we were to, I'm going to try to get both of these in the shot. Now we were to roll the wheel down here to zero. Do that for you. Zero degrees, right on the money. You'll see that our piston. I'm gonna take you guys off of there. Is a top dead center, right there. Now, yeah, it's sticking up out of the board because this is a four mil. Remember, so we're gonna have a a cut dome. So now, if we're to move this wheel at all. That piston is going to do anything. It's going to go. It's going to go down. It's not going to go up. So we'll move it one way. There it goes down. We'll recenter it back on zero, and we'll move it this way. There it goes down. So we're definitely a top dead center. So we're going to set this puppy back at zero, and I'm going to show you how to measure your transfer durations and exhaust durations. All right. So we're going to go ahead and measure our exhaust durations. So we're going to start at zero of course top dead center so now i'm going to have him my cameraman aim down in the cylinder so we're going to turn the engine to direction of rotation which is counterclockwise so you grab your degree wheel and turn it left and what we're going to do is i'm going to turn the flashlight on my phone and i'm going to aim it right up the exhaust port and he's going to aim down here and we're just looking for when it opens see how it's open there okay so we're just going to get to where we can barely barely see the light come through at my angle right there then we'll come back over here and look at the wheel get a good straight on shot at the wheel so they can see the number it looks like what is it 81 looks like 81 so we take 81 get a picture of the phone It'd be the phone so we take 81 times 2 is 162 and then we're going to take 360 which is 360 degrees in a full circle minus 162 that gives us an exhaust duration of 198 degrees so that's how you get the exhaust duration so the rest to that okay now we're going to measure our uh, transfer duration um, turn off the flashlight on my phone okay so we're starting at top dead center so then cameraman's going to aim down the cylinder and again we're going to turn and when you turn shoot right here when you turn this I'm grabbing this be sure you don't hit this pointer because if you hit it you got to start all over with your piston stop and all that so we're going to just turn down direction rotation until we can see the transfers open. They're a little harder to see because you can't shine light from the outside. So now the transfers are these right here. These are your transfer ports. So we just want to get to where we can barely see it open. What I'm looking for honestly is when I can just see the chamfering is when I'm going to call it starting to open. So I would say right there. Then we look at our degree wheel. It looks like we have 65 degrees. Right here. Yeah. Okay, so this, this, this one here. So you do the same thing. You take 65 times 2. 65 times 2 equals 130. So you don't have to divide that. That's 130 degrees on your transfer durations. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to measure blowdown, which um, this is the way that I do it. I'm not sure if it's the correct way, but it should be just fine. So we're going to put the light in here again, and I'm going to take the piston just to the point I can see the exhaust open right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is come around here and leave it recording what I'm gonna do is because I'm not real good at math I, I'm, I'm terrible at math so what I'm gonna do is be careful not to if you bump the engine it really doesn't matter a whole lot what I'm gonna do is just take this back to zero and I'm gonna peek in here and be sure my engine my piston is at the same point just as they open and then I'm gonna tighten this back up at zero and I have a little bit of play to play here to mess with this okay I'll get back over here take a look at that exhaust port okay it's pretty far open so we're gonna bring it up to where it just opens right there now we can come back over here and what I'm gonna do is adjust my pointer 
to where we're right on the zero. Is that good to you? Yeah. I'm going to angle. Okay, now come back to the cylinder. And then what we measure is the number of degrees from the point that the exhaust opens, which is where it's at now, to where the transfer is open. Right. I would call it right. Again, I'm going by the chamfering. I would call it right there. So then we look at our degree wheel, and we've got, say, right here, 34, degree, 34 degrees of blowdown. And that's how you measure your blowdown. So our engine is at 198 degrees of exhaust duration, 130 degrees of transfer duration, and our blowdown is at 34 degrees.